Today on Supreme Rips and Tips, we're going to get these pictures into this spreadsheet and get this list to match that spreadsheet. That's the task today. Let's just get right to it. Here's what we do. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to hide some columns here. I do not need uh, these columns here. I want these right next to my picture. Now I'll scoot this over. And look what we have here. Pictures on the left, list on the right. I'm looking at numbers. If I have two of the same number, I know it's going to be a teal parallel for the most part. Teal parallel. So here we go. This is what it takes. Just delete in rows. Right click on the number itself over on the side to delete the number I don't have. I'm looking here. Two, four. I have no five or six. This is the task. Yeah, it's daunting. Yeah, it's not easy. However, well, let me rephrase that. It's easy. This is no-brainer work. You just have to do it. And once you're done with it, you have the list matching the cards, which makes the magic happen when uploading sheets. No 15 or 16s, what I'm saying to myself in my head. This does go pretty quick when you're doing it yourself. While I'm talking and doing it, I'm curious to see what the timestamp is going to be on this. I'm also looking for two cards of the same person in a row. That tells me I have a parallel. And here we have here. This will be the base. This will be the teal parallel. It's really tough to see the difference in those two. You're going to have to stick with me and, and know that that's the case. So my Kawhi Leonard, card number 27, I need to insert a row right below that and copy by right-clicking on the number, Control-C, clicking 17 and control V and I have a duplicate Kawhi Leonard data row and there's my teal parallel. This is in the parallel column I'm typing that. There'll be several of those as we go through. I'm back to looking at numbers only. I'm not looking at the card. I'm looking at this number right here. Oh, I have no 31, but I have 232. So here's a tip. I would be deleting 31, but since I have two 32s, I'm just going to copy that one and paste that one right above it. And here's my teal, Ben Simmons. Don't type it again, just paste it when it's right there in front of me. Again, back to looking at numbers. This is really quick. There's no review after this of the numbers. We have done the task in full. Two Giannis, two 39s, and a 41, so I'm missing a 40. I may as well just copy and paste it there. Let me know if that doesn't make sense when I'm doing that shortcut there. Here's two Kyries of 44, but I have a 45, so I have to insert a row in this case. And I'll insert the Kyrie above I selected. I know the second one is teal. So there indeed is the second Kyrie. 45, 46, back to just looking at numbers. So now we've gone from Chronicles into, I'm going to, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to unhide these. And I want to hide one less column. I want this insert set sticking out because I want to note that these are chronicles as I'm going through them. Remember, I'm only going to type it once. And Paul George is the last chronicle. This gets us right into the prestige. This is a weird set. Each card has its own name. Not so much an insert, but this is the prestige set now. And I'm again looking right at numbers. 52 is my first. I see that I need to bring this over so we can still see numbers and where I type teal. You'll be able to see that over here where I type teal. I'll go a little bit more. And I better do this because I'm deleting Steph Curry. Our first pre uh, prestige is in fact 52. Stick with me. I'm seeing numbers here. No 53 or 54. They may be small on your screen. No 58, 59. No 61, 62. I have two 63s and a 64, so I need to insert 
and duplicate the Kevin Porter row. Back down 64, 65, 67, 68, so no 66. I mean, this is not rocket science. This is what it takes to determine what cards I have. Two Romeo Langfords. Second one is a teal, so insert row below. Copy the row I want, paste it, and enter teal by copy, paste. I hit Control C when I was on that cell. I hit Control V when I was in that cell. 71, 72, 73, 273s, 373s. So I very well may have a teal, a green, and a base in this. I'm going to trust it. It could be an error, and I actually have an extra card in here I shouldn't. Either way, I'm going to trust the pictures and give myself a little note to go review these. So I'm going to insert two rows, and I'm going to copy Kendrick Nunn twice, and I'm going to go green and teal. You may not see the question marks. I entered a couple question marks on the end there. Here, I'll pull this over a tad. There we go. As I'm going back on our next video, you'll see how I address these. I'm not going to slow the process down and get hung up on that now, though. 74 Rui I'm missing. 75 LeBron. And then we go into threads. And our first threads is Zion. So I'm going to type threads here. I'm going to copy Prestige and paste it here. And now I'm off to the races with threads. I have two Zions, so I need to insert one below. I know it's going to be, again, the teal, copy-paste. I'm not going to type it. And back to 79, Steph Curry. 80, no 81. 82. 285s and 86. So 82 to 85 means 83 and 84 are gone. But I have 285, so I'm going to copy right over... The 84, so I have my 285s, and I'm going to delete the 83. Just trying to save keystrokes. And my second teal, or second 85, is the teal. 86, 87, 88, 90. So we're missing an 89. 91, 92, 93. Two 93s and a 94, so I'm going to get down here to 93. Insert one below and duplicate Carson here, and that's teal. 94, 95, 96, 94, 95, 98. I couldn't quite make that out. It kind of bounces me back here. So 94, 95, 98. I have no 96 and 97 is why I had to do that. And I have 99 and 100. Now we're into Panini. So this goes through Luca, and now 101 and Jarrett Culver starts the Panini set. And again, just looking at numbers. Two, three, four, five, easy stuff. No six and no eight. You can look at two, cheat. No need to milk this and go one by one. I'm trying to do this fast. I'm also trying to record this, so it's going to be as slow as it will ever be. I'm missing a, I'm missing a 16, and I have two 17s. No need to delete the 16. Just copy and paste tray right over it, and there's my teal 117. I have two 118s and a 119. I have to insert in this case. As you see, inserting is longer than copying and pasting over. So I choose to copy and paste over. No 120. Of course, this is the John Morant, Zion Williamson, rookie year. Uh, no 122, but I have two 123s. Just working smart here. I now have two 123s and no 122 on my sheet. No 125. Nothing I can do with that, but I do have two 127s I see coming. So I just insert, insert a row, copy, paste. We know it's teal. 
Put these back up here for us all to see. Here's where we are. 127, 28, 29, 31. No 32. And now we are into luminance. So 34 ends Panini. And Jordan is our first luminance. Remember, I think in our first video, I said I don't mind typing the, the, the parallel once. I'll paste it the rest of the way. Um, these numbers are tough to see. And instead of bouncing back and forth, I'm going to cheat. McLaughlin, Culver, Davis, Pool. McLaughlin, Culver, Davis, Pool. Johnson, Hachimura, Hachimura. Johnson, Hachimura, Hachimura. I need to insert one here. And it's, whoops, Control-C, Control-V, same process. And now I have Atiel Rui. Zion, Nicole, Kobe, Matias, Cam, Kevin, Romeo, PJ. Cam, Kevin, Romeo, PJ. I'm looking over here. I'm go up now. Kevin, Romeo, PJ. Steph, DeAndre. Siku and Tyler, Steph, DeAndre, Siku and Tyler, Giannis, Kendrick, Davis and Clark, Giannis, Kendrick, Davis and Clark. So I don't have these three, just like that. I have two Clarks. Just as luminance is tough for a scanner to scan and keep up, right? It's tough for a human to stare at with this low zoom I have. I could zoom it in and make it two cards. I could do this a little quicker. Uh, LeBron, no Jackson. And now we're into playbook. So that's the end of Luminance. And playbook starts here with Curry. We have no jaw. So I'm just going to type playbook here so we know this is the start of our playbook. And we'll just go through playbook like the rest. These are starting at 166. I can see the numbers okay. 67, 69, 70. So missing 68, missing. Jaw. Uh, 70, 71, 72, 73, 4, 5, 6, 7. Missing 81. Two 83s and an 84, so I need to insert and get that 83 copied. And give me a teal, which is up here a bit, just so I'm not going to type it again. 84, 85, 86. Two 89s and no 88, so I'm going to copy the 89 over the 88. I think that makes sense to you now when I'm doing there, that little cheat step. 90, 92, 93, so no 91. Two 94s. And end with Darius. Now, this is a Don Russ rated rookie. So bring that down to Darius. And now we go right into Rated Rookies. These names are going to be too long, I promise, for our uh, ability to use them in the title. When I have the set name, you know, 2019-20 Panini Chronicles and Don Russ Rated Rookie. We'll get that uh, fixed. In the, in the next video, or one of the next videos, how we clean up the uh, titles that are too long, yet leave that information in the description. That's the key. So two D Terrence Davis is 196. I see I have a, a, a 197, so I'm going to insert a row. 
Copy the Terrence info, paste it, and that's my teal. The Panini Chronicles Mega Boxes, that was the teal. That's why I know I have a heavy teal influence here. I did get a green somewhere along the line. It'll stand out. We'll know it. Uh, 98, 99, 200. Now we're into Essentials. And the teals are really easy to see here. Uh, clearly, you can see teal right here with Jordan Poole. You know, these numbers are tough. So let's just cheat more. Um, I, I want to zoom. Why is the zoom bar gone? There it is. This might help the program. Let's get down to essentials. See how it kind of resets where I was in the thing. I don't want to be bouncing back and forth. That's luminance, so we're close. Playbook. 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 Come on. Don rest. There we go. So now we are at essentials. I'm right here. 201. You can see these numbers much better. 202 I have twice. Insert. That's my teal, Jordan Poole. 203. No 45. And no 4, 5, or 7. I can see that. There's no need to have to go back and adjust anything. Just take it out. This is what I mean. The speed comes quicker. No 209, no 11, 12, 14. 209, 11, 12, 14. That right there shows you how quick we can do this. Uh, I've got two, well, I've only got a teal 217. This is, I don't have a base, I just have the teal. No two, 19, 20, or 22. You can see how it goes a little quicker than me trying to conduct a video here, amateur at best at that. 25, 26, teal only Pascal. No, 29.30. Teal, 31. And no, 32. So teal, 31. I'm going to copy over the 32 since I have no 32. No, 34. Teal, 35. No, 34. Teal, 35. Copy the 35 over the 34 and essentials is done. And we go right into marquee. Copy essentials down to Goga. And this becomes Marquee. And Culver is the first one. We're in good shape. I've got a teal right after him. And a Kobe is at, after that. So insert a row. And copy, paste. And there's my teal. I believe the green is in this set here. 237. 239. So I also know... I better be careful here. I know I've got a mistake. In numbers okay let's just keep going I have some cards out of order I noticed when I breezed through these 236 237 I have no 238 let's just take it at face value 230 I have no 240 or 41 I have no 43, 4, 5, or 6. Okay, let me look here. Yeah, I mean, that's no, 2, 43, 4, 5, or 6. Just take it at face value so far. Sorry for this. I just do know there is something that's going to get us here. 247, okay, no 248. No 250 or 251. No, 253, 4, 5. 2, 257s, 357s. So this indeed is the green and teal. As with, whoops, as with anything, 
it's alphabetical order after numerical order. So I have three PJ Washingtons. When I took the pictures, I went base, green, G, T, teal. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that practice throughout everything I do. I have to type base, what am I doing? I don't even have to type teal, but we're here. And that's PJ. And then right to RJ with no 258. No 260. 2 261s. Okay, insert one above. Good to see some Jackson cards. Teal. Here's, here's where we are. 262, 263, looks like teal only 263. No 265, no 267, no 268. This is the gap. So it looks like I have no two. Oh, there's 267 right there. There's the issue. 267 and 268 are right there. Let me undo what I did. There's 267 and 268. Beautiful. <clears throat> what I'm going to do here, this 268 is clearly teal. I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to type out of order. That's all I need to know. So when I go to deal with pictures, I'm going to come back to that and deal with it. I don't have to deal with it now. I can deal with it later so I can keep going. I have no 269 to 273, and those are out of here. You may be saying to yourself, what the hell? This is a lot of work. You know, it's really not. I'm choosing to do it because uh, I can, and it's actually pretty quick. It's just once, you got to do this once per set. Yeah, it's a little tedious. D deal with it is what I would say to myself. Uh, mind you. This is uh, XR. And this is XR Teal Darius. Nice card. 275, no 76, no 78. Teal 81. No 83, 84. Most sets don't require this adding all of these set names as we go along. Uh, this is a little unique set, Chronicles. I really don't even open these and do these much but because of this extra tedious work, but it's a great one to give an example of what work needs to be done. Two PJs. So I know I don't have a Rui. I'm just going to do that. Take the teal, make it the second one. 289, no 290 or 292. Only have to do this once, folks, just once. Well, that kind of looks teal to me. Question mark. And this is one reason I don't like scans compared to pictures. I guarantee you my iPad, my iPad pictures in my photo cube or whatever that thing is, is better quality than this. Actually, I can see right now, it is, this is a teal, without a doubt. I can see that on the recon. I don't have to ask myself. I can see that written right there in teal and recon. Good eyes. So it's good enough to see. A camera would show that beyond a shadow of a doubt. Uh, no 295. What's going to be fun is when we go to line up the pictures and see how many mistakes I made in editing these. So here's the good news, folks. This is really a 299 card set. The next cards are all out of here, except Taco and Anthony Davis. So these two go away. These three go away. Because I have Anthony Davis right here. Sorry, I should have shown you that. That's why I was saying Anthony Davis. These are Prism. This ends the recon and see where we're at now. And now it's into 
552. So now little time out here. I was not going to photo some of these cards, so I took them out of order, and that was these Crusades. So let me deal with the Crusades first, which are 518, 23, and 27. Get rid of these. And 35, 27, to 34 goes away. This is Crusade. If I'm not mistaken, I saw a teal in here. Yeah, teal 527. That's what I wanted to see. So this is the Crusades. And 527 is teal. Now these go in order, 552 and 5. Making sure I don't have any yet. So I need to get 552 and 554 now, which is that one and that one. And this is Hometown Heroes. And I know these are out of order. I'm just putting a bunch of O's. I don't have to write a project about it. And then my next cards are Phoenix at 571. Just a little micromanagement I had to do inside because I wasn't going to scan these. I just, I mean, you see the scan. Look at that Kendrick Nunn. I guarantee you my iPad does better than this. I don't care what settings any software gives me. A picture is going to be better for these cards. It's just these two. And 582 Rui is next. Oh, a little too far. So now we're into the flux, 582, 586, 587. Five eighty two, five eighty six, five eighty seven. That five eighty seven is that the teal or green? I don't recall. I'm gonna have to look at that one physically. That looks like five ninety seven now that I look at that. That's gonna go down to here, and these are gonna get deleted. Caught that before a small faux pas we'd have to go back and fix. And that was just three fluxes to Culver. And now we're into the classics, uh, starting at 639. So we are done with this very close. 639, 642, 647. May as well go classics, 647, 657, 659. You're really seeing the exact work on one of the most tedious sets there are, a great video to do this on. You're either going to be a believer after this one or you're going to tell me to pound sand. I don't mind hearing either one of those. There's Kevin Johnson, sorry, Kevin Porter, that's our last one. And we delete every row now, and we have just completed every card in the set. That in itself finishes this task in this video, which is getting the card list to match the spreadsheet. That's done. Next video is adding a couple more pieces of data points to the spreadsheet, getting the pictures into here. That'll be a video in itself. Then we'll do how we do the pricing, and then we're gonna load them on eBay. That's it. Thanks for watching. Supreme Rips and Tips. We'll see you next time.